Hey guys, welcome to PJ's Coin Capers. So today we're gonna look at some new stuff and we're gonna do some noodling. So this is new stuff and noodling. First time I've done some new stuff and some noodling in the one video. But uh, we are getting so close to 20,000. I think we need around 500 more people uh, to hit that subscribe button. So make sure you do so, it's free to do. And uh, make sure you hit the bell and you'll get notified each and every time one of my new videos goes up. All right, so let's get started. Now, some new stuff has come along and I just wanted to chat a little bit about it, okay? So we've already looked at the C-Mint marked 75th anniversary of peacekeeping. It's purely there just to look good. I thought the colors looked nice, so I, I put it there, but we have looked at that before. Uh, rolls did turn up, finally. Been waiting literally weeks for these, so uh, now, a lot of people ask me, how do you get these rolls? You cannot get them from the Royal Australian Mint, okay? You can't buy them direct. When you go and buy these other coins, you cannot buy these rolls, okay? You need to make friends with an Australian dealer, someone who is authorized to sell these rolls. So, when I mean friends, you need to open an account. And it's best to do that well and truly before release date. Now, a bit of a heads up, there is going to be a new $2 coin released in November. And it's going to be a hot ticket item. So make sure you've got accounts set up with multiple uh, Australian coin resellers or sellers. And um, get, get on the uh, website for the moment they put these kinds of rolls up. Because that's the only way you're going to be able to grab them. Uh, Mintage has jumped up over the past few years. There used to be only 5,000 of each, but now there's around 15,000 rolls being produced, which has probably uh, helped to control pricing a little bit more and therefore gets it into more people's hands. Most of the sellers do uh, restrict the number of rolls that you can buy, which is probably a good thing. And... Uh, some are two, some are one, so I did pick up a few different rolls, but you do have to work for it if you if you want to try and get many, many more. So, all right, let's have a look at a few things. Now, as I said, we've had a look at this one. We've had a look at the, what is it, the, the PNC, which came out for the Wild Centenary. I won't go and read it all out to you, but... I actually love the packaging more so than the coin itself, but I do like the little story that is on the back here. Please feel free to pause and and read that if you like. It's very interesting. But uh, mintage of thirty thousand, and it is a one dollar coin. All right, we'll pop that back there for the moment. The new soccer coins are available from Woolworths. If you haven't. Uh, seen these yet here it is it's to do with the uh socceroos i got that up that's the way we're meant to be socceroos and a hundred year so the centenary of the socceroos 2022 two dollar coin all right so no carded version which was quite interesting i would have loved to have seen a carded version but uh, go along to Woolworths and uh, ask for your coins. When I actually went and grabbed these ones, the lady had to open up a brand new bag in order to give me those ones. So I didn't ask, but uh, yes, it was uh, hard watching a bag being opened up. Now this one's only just arrived, but it has been released earlier in September. And this this coin went nuts. Um... Uh, especially at the start, I, I don't know what the what the retail price on this probably about fifteen dollars, but within no time in, in early September, this this coin hit up to a hundred and fifty dollars, and this is the seventy fifth anniversary of uh, Australian Signals Directorate, so reveal and protect. And the reason why this coin went nuts is because it's an interactive coin. Now, if you're into coding and ciphers and cracking codes, this is the coin you want to uh, have a crack at. Now, I think it was like a 14-year-old Tasmanian boy cracked it in like an hour or something like that. And 
I think uh, our spy agencies or agency would like to have a chat with him uh, because he's obviously got some uh, some smarts about him. But uh, there it is there. Mintage, 50000 So, as I said, they did get up to around $150. And how did I find that out? I went and checked on eBay sales uh, sold figures. And what I can see now is that they have come back down again. They're back down around that $50 to $60 range. So, if you missed out, didn't want to pay those crazy prices... Sure, the price is up there, but it, uh, if it's one you want for your collection, now would probably be the time to go ahead and grab one. Now, obviously, over the past uh, few weeks, uh, our nation has been mourning the loss of Queen Elizabeth II. Now, that opened up a lot of, I suppose, uh, interest in Australian coins, and uh, especially that, that effigy. And uh, a lot of questions were asked, what's going to happen with the new coins? When are they going to be produced? What's the process? The Royal Australian Mint have actually put out a, a question and answer type form, which has been, actually been really helpful. And I'd suggest if you have questions regarding this kind of thing, what's going to happen in the future, it's well worth having a look at that, that uh, question and answer form. But I just wanted to talk about a couple of things. Now, and that's in relation to the 2023 Lunar Year of the Rabbit 50 cent coins. There's dollar coins and there's some ingots and, and some other coins relating to this uh, Lunar Year. Okay, so um, one of the interesting things was this is the first coin to come out as a 2023 coin from the Royal Australian Mint. Now, obviously, we know that the Queen has passed. Now, these coins do have the Queen's effigy on them. Now, there was, there's been a, a lot of sort of speculation and, oh, what's going to happen? Are these coins going to go up in value? Because they've got the Queen's head and they're dated 2023. Now, we don't exactly know whether they're going to go up in value because of that. But the Royal Australian Mint have stated that they are going to continue using the Queen's effigy on coins that are classed as collector coins. Now, majority of the coins in front of us here are collector coins. These ones won't be classed as collector coins, neither will the other Socceroos $2 coins. Sure, we like to collect them, but they are for general circulation. So... Basically, the Mint will be producing collector coins with the Queen's Effigy in 2023. So that may diminish any future value that you'll find in this particular coin. But having said that, I've got a feeling that maybe the Mint might ramp up production of the 2022 coins and slowly feed them into circulation over 2023 until such a time as the final approval and effigy of King Charles III is produced, approved by uh, the monarchy, and then placed onto our coins. And it's, it's going to be a fun time and an interesting time, and I look forward to seeing uh, a new effigy on on the coin now we only recently got the jc effigy so it hasn't been too long so anyway i just wanted to say that now just one other interesting thing this particular 50 cent coin is unlimited okay so the mint are still producing this coin now this particular set is the one dollar set and here it is here now, the interesting part about this particular coin is that it only has a mintage of 30,000. So the mint can't produce more than what is stipulated on the back of this packaging here. So 30,000 will be it. So if something does change or maybe this is the only coin, it's well worth having one that has a limited mintage rather than one that has 
an unlimited mintage. Is is that's all I'm saying. So that's the news part of it. Let's get on to some noodling. All right, guys. So we're all set up. Uh, follow on from yesterday. So I'm basically getting trying to finish off where we started off yesterday, but. Obviously, we had uh, a lot of coins to get through. Now, these little protector holders for two dollar coins—I think you can get them for other other rolls as well. Awesome, absolutely awesome. All right, get yourself some of those. A lot of the dealers have these. All right, all right. Let's start off with a two dollar roll. All right, that uh, first section of the video went. A little bit longer than I thought it would. And uh, so we don't have as much time for noodling, but we'll see how many rolls we can get through. All right, let's spread them out. See if there's anything that's going to flash at us, any sort of color. Some, nothing substantial in that roll. And... I'm not going to go hunting for 2011s, so I can't see any particular errors right there. So, all right, let's uh, let's jump onto a one dollar roll. Yeah, so let me know what what do you think about the 2023 situation with coins, and what do you think is going to happen? I mean. The Mint have really outlined what they're going to do, but what do you think is going to happen? Um, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of speculation out there, which I absolutely love. It is uh, coin speculation, looking at what may happen, what do you think, uh, which coins do you think will continue to rise, which ones will come back in uh, in price. What do you think about the mint releasing well higher mintages of coins? What have we got here? We've got S. So the surfing coin. So this is our 2022 Great Australian coin hunt. We'll keep that one as a keeper there. I really should try and fill in a folder from circulation as I did in the past. All right. Nothing super special here. sure if that's just dirt we'll zoom in a little bit yeah it's just dirt on that one thought it might have been a little rabbit ear on an 85 oh that one's well and truly worn and our final coin for that roll is an 84 all right so nothing super special in that one there we'll open up a 20 cent roll oh we got a kiwi coin as an ender. I think I read somewhere the other day someone was talking about these 20 cent coins and uh, this 20 cent coin isn't actually well you can't actually spend it in in New Zealand but you can spend it here. Alright. So, all new coins were made in New Zealand, new sizes, and uh, so that's a discontinued coin. Now I did have a quick little read of the comments prior to making this video, my uh, part one video had gone up, so thank you very much to everyone who's watching that video, and uh, and what I was going to say, the uh, I, I re did read one comment, and I, I, I believe it may have been Julie. So, Julie, thank you for watching. But uh, the comment was regarding noodling. 
and that Julie likes to noodle and do coins at the same time that I am doing my videos. So, oh, we've got a 66 here, guys. So, chance for a wavy, let's hope. Oh, nope, no wavy there, guys. So, just a 66. So, she likes to noodle. Do you like to do the same thing? Sit back, relax, watch a bit of noodling, and uh, listen to me in the background while you're uh, noodling away. So, so that was awesome uh, also got some feedback I did ask a question uh, yesterday in yesterday's video regarding whether you like the mixed coin hunts or just to go through one one type of coin such as the two dollar coins and those that have answered like the mixed coin roll hunts so we'll try and mix it up a bit sometimes we might just do a a focused video on uh, on a particular coin but uh, yes yeah, certainly when available I'll try and get more of a mix of coins I probably won't focus on doing any sort of five cent rolls I think that's very difficult for everyone to see and very time consuming and I don't think that's what we want to spend our time on but I think I'll, maybe I'll do an update video on what to look for in relation to five cent coins. All right, we've got a little bit of color here. What's this one? Upside down. And it's Captain Feather Sword. So Wiggles coin from 2021. Not looking the greatest coin, but. Alright, let's flip a few of these over. Got some nice 2020s. What's that one? A 21. That's something else. Oh, here's another one. I think we, yeah, we found one of these yesterday as well. So, a few of these are starting to come through, which is nice. And what do we got here? Oh, another one. So, yep, as I said, a few of them are starting to come through. What I, I, I found interesting is with some of the other $2 coins, it's easy to spot them because they've got $2 written on the obverse down the bottom, but uh, they chose with this design to put it on the reverse. But I kind of like the way that they've sort of changed things up a little bit by putting the uh, denomination on the reverse, sorry, on the obverse side of the coin. All right, let's keep it going. This video has been going for a while, 10 minutes of uh, news time and 10 minutes of noodling time is the plan now. So we might be going a little bit over time because I feel like I'm ripping you off if we don't uh, get through a few more rolls. So we'll try and go through them a little bit quicker there's an S coin from the 2019 series of Great Australian Coin Hunt. I always go to say coin roll hunt, but it's not. We're doing a coin roll hunt, but anyway, let's keep focusing on these. seen a 2014 in a while 2014 mob of ruse only 1 million mintage certainly a keeper and it would be good to find its good mate the 2016 changeover You've got to check the rotations on. No, that one's correct. And 84. What I need is, is a big hole in my desk where I can just push all the coins into a uh, hole and they all fall back into a bag ready to go back to the bank. Uh, 
not saying anything spectacular here, but we have to hunt through them just to see what we've got here. This is what I was talking about. See, $2 written on the back of it, and, and we've got an Olympic coin. So, that's another one. I wouldn't have, that one didn't look too shiny, so I was kind of surprised to see it there. But the giveaway was the fact that it had two dollars written on the back, as I just said. So, all right, I don't think we've got anything else there. Let's push them aside. Uh, I think we we want to finish off these two dollar rolls. So let's just finish off with two dollar rolls. I'm not finding really anything with the twenty cent rolls. So best to get through these two dollar rolls. Seeing anything there other than a super mangled coin. Now, we, if you if you're still watching this, this, and if you're new to coin collecting, this is post mint damage. This did not happen at the mint. All right. So just to help educate and save you asking these kind of questions, this has happened outside of the mint. It's probably worth less than two dollars. All right. That's a joke, people. It's still worth $2. Alright. We've got three rolls. We can get through them. Alright, anything sort of shiny? One shiny one close to the end there. Let's turn them over. What have we got? Anything there? Oh, we do have a little bit of colour. Looks like another Wiggles one. And it's probably Captain Feather Sword once again. I'm sure in other countries they would laugh at the fact that we have two dollar coins in circulation with Captain Feather Sword on it. Surely that's that's strange, right? Surely. I think it's strange. Alright, nothing else there colour wise. Big mess off camera, so What are we going to find in these ones? Oh, a little bit more. Uh, is it a colour though? Mm, no, it's just a nice and shiny 2020. And there's no other colour popping through. No. No. Yeah, I think there's probably been... A number of coins that have been commemorated on two dollar coins that I would probably have a bit of a laugh at to be honest and sort of 